Hello friends, I'm Sharyu Pujari and I'm an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you can find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on sludge treatment which is a part of treatment of wastewater. So also we'll uh, solve one example for better understanding in this lesson. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on sludge treatment by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I am a verified educator on an academy. I have done my MTech in environmental science and technology. I have completed my B in civil engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me in this, on this link. So if you will follow me. You will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Uh, share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. So friends, let's start with the new topic which is on sludge treatment. Not sewage tr treatment, it is a sludge treatment. Now what do you mean by sludge? So sludge is a settled suspension generally obtained from any secondary treatment of wastewater. So we have seen all the classifications related to uh, what are uh, what processes comes under prelim preliminary treatment, what comes uh, in primary treatment, what is the secondary treatment. We have completed the lessons on activated sludge process. We have completed the trickling filter, right? So the whatever sludge or the settled suspension that is obtained from the secondary clarifier is known as sludge and uh, that and also we can say uh, that sludge is a semi solid slurry and can be produced as sewage sludge from wastewater treatment processes right so this sludge which are obtained from the treatments are generally objectionable Therefore, they can't be disposed of without treatment. So, the treatment of sludge is also very important. So, the sludge treatment is aimed to achieve first one is volume reduction and second is strength reduction. So, these two points are very important. So, sludge treatment is generally done by or achieved by doing volume reduction of sludge or strength reduction of sludge that we are going to see one by one in my uh, further lessons right so uh, next this volume and strength reduction of sludges are achieved by so this can be achieved like volume and strength re reduction can be achieved by first one is sludge thickening second is sludge digestion Third is sludge conditioning and fourth is sludge drying and dewatering. Now what is done in sludge thickening? So here by expelling water from the sludge and doing the concentration of the or concentrating the sludge. So here by expelling the water from the sludge or concentrating the sludge process is done in sludge thickening. Now what is sludge digestion? So it is a digestion is generally anaerobic decomposition of sludge. It is an anaerobic decomposition of sludge. Next is sludge conditioning. So here increasing of temperature is done or by chemical sludge. Uh, chemical sludge is made up to the stage of draining. Right. So that is carried out. Next is sludge drying and dewatering. So what happens here is uh, volume is reduced by reducing moisture content. Right. Or removing the moisture content of sludge is done that is the sludge drying and dewatering so this all we are going to see one by one in my uh, next points right so if we see the composition of sludge so what is sludge as i said it is a semi solid slurry so it contains of solids and water that is moisture content generally moisture content so water in sludge is uh, said as moisture content and expressed in percentage right so sludge consists of solids and water and solids are of two types that is volatile and non volatile generally this volatile causes nuisance and this is the non volatile solids so please do remember that sludge consists of solids and moisture content that is water and solids 
contain volatile solids and non volatile solids so in sludge generally solid content is from 0.25% to 12% and water content is from 99.75% to 88% so this is also very important point so next we we'll, we are going to see the mass volume relation of a sludge so this as a specific gravity of sludge as we know it is the density of sludge divided by density of water that is s sludge is equal to rho sludge divided by rho of water so we can find out easily the rho sludge so density of sludge will be specific gravity of sludge into rho of water density of water so these two points are also important so here we'll get our rho sludge that is density of sludge is equal to mass of sludge upon volume of sludge we know density is equal to mass upon volume so rho sludge is equal to mass of sludge upon volume of sludge and also these formulas are important this we are going to need in solving the problems so if we see that a plus b plus c gives d right so percentage of a percentage of b and percentage of c will be 100% of d right so specific gravity of, so sorry specific gravity of a specific gravity of b and specific gravity of c will give the specific gravity of d so 100 upon so if a c this relation will get this uh, relation here that is 100 upon sd is equal to percentage of a upon sa plus percentage of b upon sb plus percentage of c upon sc right so this relation we get and uh, based on this we are going to find out some relation between mass and volume so this is the mass and volume relation of a sludge point in that we, if we see this logic then uh, 100 upon s sludge that is specific gravity of sludge is equal to percent so sludge contains of solids and water right so that's why uh, percentage of solids and percentage of water is taken for uh, finding out specific gravity of sludge so 100 upon specific gravity of sludge is equal to percentage of solids upon specific gravity of solids plus percentage of water divided by specific gravity of water or we can find out similarly 100 upon rho of sludge that is density of sludge is equal to so uh, sludge as I said it consists of solids plus water so here it is percentage of solids divided by rho solids that is density of solids plus percentage of waters divided by rho of water, rho water that is density of water similarly we can find out for solids right so solids consist of volatiles and non volatiles so specific gravity of solids is equal to percentage of volids divided by specific gravity of volatile solids uh, plus percentage of non volatile solids uh, divided by uh, specific gravity of non volatile solids right so these three relations are important and based on this we are going to solve one example so you will get a better understanding so if you uh, have understood this formulas and this relation logic of this relation you will understand this and this you need to note down please do note down sequence wise here i have given the slide numbers these are the slide numbers according to that please do note down all the formulas and try to understand because here I am getting very less time to uh, explain the things but if you write down the uh, formulas then you will get uh, it clear right so I request you to write down the formulas in sequence and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section so based on the relations here uh, we can solve this question the question is find specific gravity of sludge if it contains 70 percent volatile solids with specific gravity of 1.7 and remaining non-volatile with specific gravity of 2.7 moisture content is 98 percent so we have to find out the specific gravity of sludge right that is s sludge so next uh, given we have to find the s sludge that is specific gravity of sludge and percentage of volatile solids is 70% so the remaining will be the non volatile uh, solids that will be 100 minus 70 it will be 30% so specific uh, uh, specific gravity of solid, uh, volatile solids is 1.7 and specific gravity of non volatile solids is 2.7 from that we have to find the specific gravity of sludge right 
so here we can use first this formula that is 100 upon specific gravity of solids is equal to percentage of volatiles upon specific gravity of volatile solid solids plus percentage of non volatile solids divided by specific gravity of non volatiles uh, solid right so 100 upon specific gravity of solids is equal to 70 upon 1.7 plus 30 upon 2.7 so specific uh, gravity of solids will be 1.912 but we have to find the specific gravity of sludge right so from this formula because the percentage of volatile and non volatiles are given first we have found out the specific gravity of solids that is 1.912 now for specific gravity of sludge we have to use this formula so sludge contains solids and water right so 100 upon uh, specific gravity of sludge will be is equal to so 2% is the content of solids right so 2% here uh, if we see 98% uh, moisture content is 98% so remaining will be the solids so 98% is the moisture content they have given so remaining will be the solids percentage so 2% upon specific gravity of solids we have found out that is 1.912 and uh, uh, specific gravity of water is 1 taken as 1 so 2 upon 1.912 plus 98 upon 1 so it will give us the uh, specific gravity of sludge that is 1.009 so this is our answer Spe uh, specific gravity sludge will be 1.009 so don't get confused here read the question properly write down the questions and do write down the formulas that I have given sequence wise here I have given the slide numbers so please do write down in a sequence write down all the formulas as I have given and uh, I have solved one example so that the relations will be clear for you and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments so uh, thank you for watching this video so my next lesson will be on volume reduction of uh, sludge treatment then we'll see the strength reduction also we'll solve some important questions from the previous gate question paper or IES exams also we'll see some MCQs related to sludge treatment which are asked in gate exam so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you